the relationships between free trade, trade liberalization, on the one hand, and, and hunger is, a, is, is very difficult um, to explain because it is very clear that there are regions who do not produce enough for themselves and need trade on which they depend um, in order to um, simply survive. And trade has therefore an essential function to fulfill, there's no question about this. However, we should be aware that trade liberalization has two potentially very negative impacts that lead me to think, like many others, that it should be treated with great caution as a solution to hunger. First, trade usually uh, benefits um, in countries who export on the international markets, benefits the larger producers and not the small-scale farmers. So they, the small-scale farmers, are unable to seize the opportunities that uh, the development of global food chains is meant to create because they face a number of obstacles, uh, making it very difficult for them to be competitive, to meet the standards requirements, and so forth. And these small farmers are the first ones impacted by the imports of cheap food on their local markets when they are least competitive. And so in many countries in sub-Saharan Africa, for example, small farmers have been negatively impacted by the arrival of cheap food, heavily subsidized by OECD countries, against which they were simply unable to compete because they are not, they are not supported by their governments. So we have to open up the black box of states and see within states who is affected negatively, who benefits from free trade, but we'll see that in many cases the poorest do not benefit and that instead they are negatively impacted and this is certainly true for the small farmers in many uh, poor countries today. And a second reason why free, free trade is very um, um, difficult to see as a, as, a, as a magic bullet and as a solution to global hunger is that countries who depend extensively on imports to meet their consumption needs, as are many low-income countries today. On average, the least developed countries spend about 20 percent, um, or rather, rather depend for about 20 percent of their consumption on imported foods. These countries are in a very fragile situation. The, as the prices of food commodities go up on international markets, their food bills increase in ways that are rapidly unsustainable and create immediate balance of payments problems. So these countries should uh, not be fed. They should feed themselves and we should help them by providing them the possibility to feed themselves. Trade will always be necessary. Trade indeed is desirable in many cases, but we must be aware of the very um, um, crucial function that food fulfills not just as, as, as a means to feed populations, but as a source of revenue for small farmers and as a source of resilience for, 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 for countries' um, food security.